At 519, let's swing it back over to meteorologist Alan Rose, where we are finally feeling like summer. Yeah, feeling like summer and less of those summertime thunderstorms. You know, we like the rain, but last week was really pretty significant in terms of that severe weather outbreak. Seemed like we had day upon day of severe hail, damaging destructive hail, wind gusts, even some tornadoes. That will not be the case today, starting out with generally clear skies and some very warm temperatures all across the state of Southern Colorado. Let's zoom on into our region here. 70 in the Springs, 73 in Canyon City. Hardly any relief after yesterday's daytime eyes that soared into the 90s and triple digits. And well, we do it all over again today, so brace yourselves for some more heat. Find a way to cool down. Maybe check out the local splash pads, the local pools. I know they were quite popular yesterday and they'll be popular again today with triple digits expected once again this afternoon in the Steel City. The heat comes courtesy of this big dome of high pressure, not only influencing our weather here in southern Colorado, but all across the desert southwest, the southern and central plains, even into the southeast, feeling the effects of this big dome of high pressure. The heat dome shifts a little farther west with some significant heat late this week and into the weekend across the Pacific Northwest, California, the western third of the country. For us, finally some cooler weathers will tap into this trough of low pressure to our north that'll send some energy down into our neck of the woods and bring us a little bit of relief as well as a chance for some thunderstorms. And I think thunderstorms begin to ramp up in coverage on Thursday. So the severe outlook tomorrow calls for a marginal risk, which means one or two of these storms that develop, especially across the eastern plains, could pulse up and meet marginally severe criteria. Strong wind gusts to 60 miles per hour, possibly some large hail in the offing. You can see on Thursday clouds begin to build around the lunch hour. Maybe a few isolated storms out here towards the Pikes Peak region. Generally, most of the stronger or severe stuff is going to be well east of I-25. Threat, threat will continue through tomorrow night around sunset. All right, here's a look at these very hot daytime eyes today again. Back up to triple digits in Pueblo. Should be pretty close to it in La Junta and as well as Lamar and Canyon City. Springfield at 98, the Springs at 92, Monument at 87 degrees. And check out your super seven day forecast. We'll do a breakout on Thursday. Give you an idea, add a little more context here. Rain chances not overly high, but again, can't rule out maybe a rogue thunderstorm during the afternoon and evening hours. Still a weak chance Friday. And then chances begin to build back up as you make our way towards Saturday. Generally a dry and a hot looking extended forecast in Pueblo, especially on both ends. Triple digits Wednesday, Thursday, and again next Tuesday in the middle. We have that cool down with a chance of thunderstorms, some scattered ones as we start the weekend. For Canyon City, also hot. Mostly hot Wednesday, Thursday in the upper 90s. Then we're down to 86 on Saturday, but back up to the 90s beginning Sunday with temperatures right near 100 by next Tuesday. Woodland Park feeling like summer here over the next seven days with a few isolated storms today, tomorrow, even Friday and Saturday drying out and heating up as we head towards next week.